Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. My name is Deshauna and in today's video I am going to be talking about all of the things that I do not let my baby do. So apparently this is a little bit of a trend on YouTube. Typically this video is surrounding toddlers and other like bigger kids but I just decided since I have a baby are there things that I don't let her do? And there are. So I wanted to add my voice to the mix. Before we get into it, I did ask you all over on Instagram whether you wanted to see this video or you wanted to see my Love Every unboxing video and you all chose this video for today. So thank you so much. If you are not following me over on The Fortitude Fix, go ahead and make sure that you do. I'm getting better over there, y'all, okay? Uh, Thank you all so much for coming back for another video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And one last thing I wanted to mention is a bit of a disclaimer. So my community here is really awesome. Like y'all are great, but I have seen some comments on some other videos and don't come for me y'all. Like don't come for me in the comments. Listen, if you allow your kid or your baby to do these things that I'm about to say that I don't allow my baby to do, that is fine. That is totally fine. I am not gonna think any less of you. I am not going to judge you. I am not going to lose sleep. I am not going to hassle you about it. Literally, every single child is different. Every single parent is different and I, I get it. So no need to worry if you allow your kids to do these things. I'm not coming for you. I'm just letting you all know what we do over here, okay? The first thing that I do not let my baby do is hit people or, <laughs> or our dog, Mocha. So I understand, get it? She's 11 months old she's very intelligent you keep like show she's oh, she's kind of like me in that respect like let's say she has a pen she won't but let's just say she does i'm like nova don't drop the pen she'll go and she'll look and she'll be like mm. and she'll drop it so like she <laughs> she likes to test boundaries already so i don't allow her to hit people hit me hit others or hit our dog and I just kind of redirect that energy or that behavior. So I might hold her hands and like clap them together or I might kind of move her body or if she's kind of going to town on mocha, I will just say gentle, gentle touches, right? I think this is really important kind of one for modeling behavior. I don't want her to see me do this or think that it's okay. So I don't hit people. <laughs> and I also wanna teach her that there are other ways in dealing with your emotions as opposed to using kind of physical violence in that way. I get it, she's a baby, she's very young, but I do think that a lot of these life lessons start very early. The second thing that I do not allow my baby to do is to stay in pajamas all day long. Now, I do have a caveat. When I was in the throes of postpartum, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, and more recently when I had to like leave town and dad was fully in charge and I was still trying to figure out life, uh, all of that stuff. So there has been little instances where it's happened. I'm not saying I never have done it, but it's not something that I allow to be a regular thing. Usually there are like super crazy extenuating circumstances like the two that I mentioned and uh, I'm thinking in the future, possibly like Christmas morning or something like that. But generally, I do not allow her to stay in pajamas all day long. She will wake up, whether it's my turn to wake up with her or her dad's turn to wake up with her. We will hang out, we'll do our morning routine. And by the time that she's up, she will then be changed into clothes. So after breakfast and by the time that she's up, she will be changed into clothes for the day. I think that this is a wonderful practice. I spent my entire pregnancy in quarantine due to COVID. And then once I had the baby, I was terrified to leave the house anyway. So that kind of set up very interesting practices that didn't even feel comfortable for me. And so I just, 
I, I don't do that. And now I'm working from home. I do my very best to get dressed every day at least, wear something that I didn't sleep in. <laughs> it might be some sweats or some comfortable like clothes, but it's not going to be the pajamas that I slept in the night before. Same goes for my daughter as well. And for my husband, matter of fact. The whole house, y'all, the whole house, okay? We are changing clothes for the day. As we continue to grow and maybe have more kids and as Nova continues to get older, I do not want to have to like stop and worry about her and changing her and all that stuff. Let's say if I have to go out, I do have a business. So if I need to pop over to the post office and send off an order, I just, and maybe I need to take her with me. I need her to be ready so I can just pop her in the car and go do what I need to do. Emergencies happen, things happen. If I need to pop over to the grocery store, pop over to a family member's house, I really just don't want her in pajamas all day long, especially outside in the world. Pajamas are for sleeping, regular clothes are for regular parts of the day. The third thing that I do not let my baby do is sleep in our bed. I knew from even before pregnancy that I did not want to co-sleep with my child. Again, if you co-sleep, if it works for you, do you do what works for you and your family. For me and mine, and as for this house, it is not going to be a thing that we co-sleep with our children. Now, we do room share. So the first five or six months or so, baby is in our room and we have a bassinet that stays on the side of our bed where baby can sleep in their own contained space and mom and dad can sleep in their own contained space. Then baby will transition to their own bed, to their crib, and that will kind of be how it goes. And my husband agrees with me on this and we came to this conclusion similar to uh, everything else that we do in our household. We've come to the conclusion together. We just don't want to sleep with baby, not just for like the safety situation or like fear or anxiety that that gives me, but also just setting things up for the future. Again, similarly to the hitting, similarly to the, you know, changing our clothes every day. I don't want to set some sort of precedent in our house that our children are allowed to sleep in our bed. I don't want that to then be a habit that I have to work on breaking later. I have heard from so many folks who have older children who have let their children sleep with them that they'll come into the room, you know, they'll just like hop in the bed and sometimes they're a little like too tired to get up and put them back in the bed so they just let it happen and then it becomes a thing and then they want to kind of like break that habit. So instead of going through all of that, I just kind of want to set it from the jump that baby will sleep in their own contained location. And I mean, I want to preserve mommy and daddy's bed for mommy and daddy things, okay? So that's what we do over here. So the fourth thing that I do not let my baby do is kiss other people, including pets, our dog, on the mouth. No, this is not like a sexual thing. I please don't do that don't sex stop sexualizing children that's the health educator in me and i it needs to stop but aside from that that's not what we're talking about i just i've never been for it i've never been for it maybe i just have like a weird thing with kissing but i also think i mean it's been covid times you don't really know where people you know mouth have been and i'm just not comfortable with my baby kissing other people on the mouth. It's just not something that I like, not something that I'm gonna be doing, not something I want her to do. Same with the pets, with animals, with our dog, there's no kissing licking on the mouth. Mocha has tried because I think her breath, right, like her breath smells sweet from breast milk and now formula, he's like, what's that? And he'll sniff, 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 and then try to get a lick in every now and then, but I'm watching him and I'm just like, this is not, not what we're gonna do. My germs, I don't like it. Not for us, not for our family, not for my kids. And the fifth thing that I do not let my baby do is walk around outside barefoot with no shoes or socks. Not for it. I really wasn't allowed to walk around barefoot, especially outside. I don't know if it's true and I doubt it is, but people say my feet are so big because I would like walk around without socks and shoes on. I, I don't 
I don't know. But I do know for her when we're outside, it's like the ground is gross and I just, we're just not, nope. So do I allow her to maybe, if it's a hot day in the summertime, right, be in a carrier with me and have no socks or shoes on? Yes, but I'm saying her feet on the ground outside where there's like ants and bugs and rocks and like dirt, no, not so much. Not gonna happen. <laughs> it, I don't know, it's just something about it. I'm not comfortable with it. And granted, she still is learning to walk, so it's not like I just kind of put her on the floor and let her go outside anyway, but that's something that I just, I don't do. I see people like outside playing and they have like their kids on the ground and they're like practicing walking and stuff. Like, no, no, no. I'm super interested to know as Nova moves into the next phase of her life as a toddler, can y'all believe it? That's like around the corner. What our family is going to look like as it relates to this. So I'm really excited to make this video, but also maybe come back in a little bit and talk about toddlerhood and what are some of the new things that I don't let my toddler do. So I don't know. Let me know if you're interested. Let me know if there's anything that you don't allow your baby, your kids, your toddler toddler to do. I'm super interested in knowing what those are. I feel like I know what some of them could be as Nova gets older, but we're not there yet. I hope this video was interesting for you all. It was very fun for me to make and really think about, and I will see you all in my very next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon. And remember, as always, fill your cup. Bye.